Moraine Valley Library, the Wiscott collaboration, Black History Month curation coming up toward the end of the month. But well, we're gonna keep it going all the way through the last day. Black History Month curation. This video is about a very important book. Soledad, Soledad Brother, The Prison Letters of George Jackson, all right, written by George Jackson. And Soledad Brother is a collection of the personal letters that George Jackson wrote to his family and friends while he was incarcerated during the 1960s. So for those who don't know, George Jackson was a young man born and raised, or born in Chicago, raised in California. He, um, in the 60s, became a Black Panther. And while in California, he was sentenced to one year to life for an armed robbery at a gas station. A gas station, I believe, um, the charges that he robbed the gas station attendant of $70 um, at gunpoint. And he was found guilty and convicted, although he maintained his innocence and said that he never did that. Um, he said he was never part of that, but he was convicted of it and he was sentenced one year to life in prison. Um, but after nine to 10 years in prison, he was still there, but he would write these letters. And all, not all, but the majority of these letters are, were collected into a book that he published while he was incarcerated. So he, he published these letters in this book and the book became a bestseller all while he was incarcerated. The letters are fascinating because they really reveal a lot that was going on with him internally, um, emotionally and mentally. He has letters to Angela Davis with, with whom he was a good friend. Um, a lot of letters to his parents, family, um, close friends, other comrades and things like that. The book in itself was always great and made a bestseller, but George's legacy became um, much more or much bigger after his death. So he died in uh, August of 1970 and his death, which was a violent death as he tried to revolt and, uh, and break out of prison. He died in the process, he was, he was killed in the process of trying to take over the prison and, and escape. Um, and this was one year after his younger brother, he had a 17 year old brother named Jonathan who actually wrote the forward to the book. Jonathan actually went into a court courtroom and held a judge and other people hostage trying to break his brother out of prison the year before. But both Jonathan and George, their sort of activism and their push to try to break out of prison uh, sparked what is now known as the Black August Movement, or Black August for short. And Black August is using the month of August, or a lot of black activists use the month of August to um, pay homage to political prisoners. It's a month of atonement where participants, they fast, they read, they exercise, they focus on and what they believe needs to be done to improve the black community. So George's life sort of, or not sort of, definitely is directly tied to that particular movement. But the book is very interesting. I suggest anyone check it out. His personal letters, you get what was going on to him personally. It's called Soledad Brother. So check it out.